All right, guys, so in the previous part, we improved our handler a bit using .env, and we also started learning how to read the documentation. Now, let's improve our Discord bot even more. Right now, here's our bot, and if I go to Visual Studio Code and run the bot using node dot in the terminal, it comes online, but currently, if I send any message in chat, it replies. So now, let's improve this. We want the bot to only reply to specific messages, right? For example, we want it to reply, how can I help you only when someone says hello? So for that, we'll need to make some changes. We'll go into our code and first we need access to what the user typed so we can check the content and reply accordingly. To know how to do that, we'll open the Discord JS documentation and search for message. Now we can see all the message properties. If we scroll, we'll find dot content. So we'll use content to read the user's message. If I click on content, it shows that it gives us the content of the message, but it also says this property requires the message content intent, which I already explained to you in the first part. All right, so now back to our code. We already have one condition written from the previous part. Now let's add another one. So we'll write, if message.content equal 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 high, then message.reply how can I help you again. If you don't know what this means or if you haven't watched the JavaScript series, definitely watch that first. Now another way to do this is to write if message.content not equal high return, then message.reply, how can I help you? So in the first one we're saying if the message is exactly high then reply in the second one we're saying if the message is not high, stop the code and don't reply. Both mean the same thing. If the message is anything other than high the bot won't reply. Now let's restart our bot and test it. If I go back to Discord and type anything else like wow or something random, the bot won't reply, but if I type hi, the bot will reply, which is very, very nice. All right, so now let's go back to our code. And for example, we want the message to get deleted three seconds after it's sent. So first, let me fix the message. I'll write, hey, how can I help you? Now I want this message to be deleted after three seconds for that. Well, use set timeout, which is a JavaScript method. So I'll write set timeout, then open a function like this. And after that, we put a comma and specify the time in milliseconds. Since we want three seconds, I'll write 3000. Inside that function, I'll write message.delete. And again, if you check the documentation, you'll find the delete method there too. So do take a look. Now, if I restart the bot and go to Discord and type hi, you'll see that it deletes the message after three seconds, which is good. But it's deleting our message, and what we actually want is for the bot's reply to be deleted after three seconds. So if we look at the code, you can see we've written message.delete, and that is technically correct. Because like I explained in the previous part, message refers to what the user sends, so it's deleting that. But we want to delete what the bot sent, the bot's reply, right? To get access to that reply, we need to store it in a variable. So I go to the line where the bot replies, and write const bot reply equals message dot reply. Hey, how can I help you? Now the bot's reply is stored in bot reply. So then I change message dot delete to bot reply dot delete. Now if I run the bot and send a message, you'll notice that it doesn't delete the message. And if I go to VS code, you'll see it shows an error. Bot reply dot delete is not a function. And this happens because the bot's reply takes a bit of time to send, but we're trying to delete it before it even finishes sending. If you've seen the JavaScript series, we discussed async and await. So here we'll use that. I'll just add await in front of the bot reply. Const bot reply equals await message dot reply. Hey, how can I help you? This means don't move ahead in the code until the bot has actually sent the reply. But you'll see it gives an error because we're using await without an async function. So to fix that, we simply add async to the function definition. Client dot on message create async message arrow function and that's it now if i restart the bot and go to discord and send a message you'll see that the bot replies and after three seconds its reply is deleted very good so yeah i hope you learned something today too i know the videos are short because i'm caught up in some other work but i still want to make some daily progress so thanks for watching and oh don't forget to join the discord server because we have daily challenges events and awesome giveaways and if you ever need help related to bot development our team is always ready to support you.